710. We're all loaded up. We're all packed up, ready to go. Just about to depart and head north for a few days. Another trip coordinated through Fly Fishing International. If you guys want to know more about this trip and how you can get involved, check the links in the description down below and we'll uh, we'll get you guys connected there. Without further ado, let's get on the road and let's head north. video is proudly presented by Gills Fly Fishing International, Tyler Dunn Guiding, and Ford's Fine Fishing Nets. Find more about these sponsors in the description down below. Thanks for watching guys. Alright, so we just rolled up to town. We are going to slide into the grocery store, grab some food, and get ourselves situated for the next couple days for eating and uh, cooking. So. I'll, I'll let you know about royalties for sure. We're all packed up. We got all our groceries for the most part. We're gonna stop by getting tire to get the barbecue and a couple other things, and then we're pretty much good to go to go north. up Canadian Tire. Gonna have to wait for our order to get put through because we have to do online online ordering but we'll get her done one way or another. Got some ice in the coolers. Looking good. Should keep it cool for the evening and until I get to the spot. Just gotta wait for the Canadian tire order to go through and then um, grab our stuff and head north. We can toss it in the truck bed there. Perfect. You don't lose that. Awesome, thank you. Head notes. Yeah. Got our barbecue, got our propane. I'm gonna stop at the gas station, just check to make sure that I have the right fittings for the little one pound tanks, and then um, go north. Getting right out of Dodge, getting away from Mr. Ford's wagalations, because it is getting weird in the cities now. That's right, these. It's gonna work with the one pounder, so that's good. Makes me feel a bit better with the uh, situation, so we're gonna pack her up and get her going. So we've got the pot heating up. Make sure there's no stickers on the bottom. That'd be a good start. Some lovely components that will inevitably make our night. There she is. Get our strip loin there. That'll cut nice. And that's our salad. Funny. Okay, perfect. Chili moose. There it is. Little mini bucket, little cooler. Honestly, not even that big. It's like the perfect like day pack size, you know, two day pack. You get all your food, some stuff in there. Nice piece. Shot marinated it for me, so it was a nice quick thing. Anyway. Oh, that smells really good. Gonna hit the salad with some quick olive oil. Didn't get the vinegar, unfortunately, but we'll make it work.
steak's looking pretty yummy. I might have cooked it a little too hard on the one side, but... I think we are good with that. That is looking nice right now. Here goes the first bite. That is the ticket right there. Mm. Yep. There's a few river systems that I have in mind for tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to scout them out today. Kind of got up here when it was dark already, but we'll start the morning off pretty nicely and pick up, get some food into me, and then um, maybe go check out a few river systems, see if anything is uh, high or low. And then we can kind of play from there. Or tomorrow and the day after are kind of going to be pretty lax days. And then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to fish pretty hard with Tyler and uh, hopefully get some really good footage. I just realized I forgot to shoot a little closing for the day, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty good success. I think I left this morning at 7 and I got off the road at 9.30, 10. So it was a solid day of driving. Um, got a lot done. I'm going to call her a night here. This black this blanket's gonna hopefully keep me nice and toasty. I think it's going down to like minus two or minus three or something like that tonight. And yeah, I hope I'm not too cold. I think I should be fine. I'm not too worried. But uh if this video ends right here, you know I turned into an icicle. Probably not though. <sighs> bag there okay I think the next step is go fish yeah so I'm gonna throw my waders on get suited up and uh, go for a little walk to the mouth of the river here and see if we can uh, see if we can line into a, a fish or two suited up I'm gonna go give it a shot here see if we can find some fish there's a couple of guys now at the head of the run here but uh, I think if we poke down below hoping there's not too many guys I've never fished this stretch during like peak season so it's a bit of a change of pace usually I come end of season when things are starting to taper out but uh, so far I see no one on the far side which is awesome down a little bit further and see if we can uh, fish the main part of the run now that was kind of just ahead and quicker water it's still a little bit cool so it might be a little docile Alright, so we got to the second spot. We're going to uh, go into a system I've never checked out before. Yeah, broke out the 10-6. Uh, the we're going to fish the 10-6. Before we were fishing a 13-foot rod, 
and uh, from the looks of it on Google Maps, this system's a bit smaller. So we're gonna fill up the water bottle. Wow, that's insane. Whew. That is incredible. Oh man. So unfortunately I wasn't able to find any fish in this system, but it was a beautiful walk nonetheless. That lookout was amazing and you know I'll definitely be coming back to this place to check it out at a later time. Nicer than mine. <laughs> I had yours, yours is 14, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I had before that one. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. You gonna go swing some flies for a bit? Yeah, see if I can get disappointed. Yeah, no, I know that feeling. I've been doing that since about 7 o'clock this morning. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. No, I'd rather be here than down there. Yeah, sure. Any day of the week. All right, so. have a good luck. Yeah, you do. You enjoy, enjoy your fishing there. Nosages, and saute some, some of them good good. Fizzly. And get the mushrooms. I think we're good to go. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. Mm. Veggies and mushrooms <clears throat> definitely pass the test. Let's see how this nauseous does. Nice. Nice, nice. I'm not sure if I'm gonna close it out in here. I'd really like to get a, a fish on camera. I'm gonna fish a few more hours on the system here that I'm, I got right behind me. And if it happens, it happens. If not, it's all right. We got a we got a, a handful of days still left, and I haven't even connected with Tyler. Tyler's always pretty good at uh, setting us up pretty good. So fish that last little river there, and couldn't find any fish. But there's a nice little logging road here and good place to camp out for the night. So I think I'm gonna grab some firewood and I'm gonna go make a nice bonfire. I don't know if I'm gonna get a good burning bond, but dead wood. I ended up losing track of time, kept driving and driving and about two, two and a half hours later, I ended up finding myself at this really pretty lake that looked too good to not stop at and ended up whipping out my spay rod casting a wool, black woolly bugger and sure enough I got bumped a couple times caught a keeper to uh, to eat for dinner so it was pretty neat oh I'm on oh I lost him okay we've got fish in town incredible looking fish look at the spots there's so much definition to this fish <sighs> Well, I think I'm gonna make my first brookie dinner today. I'm gonna do a little bit more fishing. I'm gonna run the GoPro now. I think we've got some, uh, we got some confidence. <sighs> I think I gotta let it sit for a little bit before I start stripping. Oh, there we go. Fish bumped it. Got him. God, it's tiny as shit. <laughs> Definitely not the most sporting on a seven weight spay. <laughs> but. That's a 
What's that beauty? They're so pretty, man. Oh, I can't believe that. Greasy, greasy release. Okay, I think we're clocking out on that. I'm gonna go cook me up some brook trout for dinner tonight. What a beautiful night though. I can't believe I pulled off a brook trout in the middle of nowhere. Dinner. <laughs> These little bugs and stuff. No wonder he was on the black woolly bugger. That's actually really cool. <laughs> so, so you can see, got some digested legs, but he was clearly eating some bugs, which is super cool. So the black woolly bugger kind of matched it up nicely. I'm sure he's got even more, to be honest. All right, so we're gonna give the fillets a quick rinse. Okay, that should be plenty good. So we've got sunflower oil, pepper and salt, pretty much all we've got for marinade. I didn't really come prepared with a lot of stuff to cook, something like this, but uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. I think that should suffice too. We might even be able to get this done before sun goes down, because uh, it's been a Pretty common theme of me cooking at after dark. But I think we're gonna do a salad tonight. I had a pretty hefty lunch with all the rice and lovely stuff, so I think we're just gonna spice it up with uh, you know some salad. Hit it with the olive oil. Maybe sesame oil. I wonder if that would be good. I uh, might as well try it. We're gonna try the sesame oil instead of the olive oil. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to do that or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go.
Oh my god. My first brook trout. Oh boy. Mm, it's kind of tasting good. Oh. Oh, that is actually really good. <laughs> That's actually kind of nice. I'm going to really enjoy this brook trout and salad. Get myself cleaned up. Get ready for bed. Catch you guys uh Catch you guys after I'm done eating here. So we were dealt some pretty nasty weather conditions the next few days uh, once me and Tyler connected, but we were still able to make it work. Our first day together, we ended up catching a small little migratory rainbow, which was uh, which was pretty awesome. He also showed me some pretty intense lookout points. The waves were absolutely giant on Lake Superior. I've never seen waves that big on a Great Lake system, so it was pretty intense. Kept poking around, checked out a couple of systems, fished our hardest, and. We were at the end of the, at the end of the trip. We were rewarded with some pretty fantastic fish. So, you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys want to know more about this trip check out the links in the description down below as well thanks a bunch to tyler dunn guiding and ford's fine fishing nets for supporting the cause and supporting my video really appreciate that and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next clip take it easy